I R Clever. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Settlers Saturday. Now it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been what two weeks? But I'm excited. I'm looking forward to this. Um, I just need to kind of catch up. Um, I'm not sure if all of you may or may not be aware of where we are because I've had quite a few new subscribers recently. So um, welcome to all you guys. That's wicked. At the time of uh, recording this, I'm on uh, 100 subscribers, which is cool. Um, I do really appreciate that. That's um, that's wicked. So if you may remember from last episode, I attacked uh, I attacked this guy and took out a tower. And now he's having to rebuild it, so... Uh, when he builds that, I'm just going to rush him and take that tower, I think. That's probably the best way of doing it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think last episode I started building loads and loads of weaponsmiths everywhere. This is one here. Iron smelter there. Oops. Um, what we've got going here? Loads of things, wow. Loads of different ores being built, um, different mines. Okay, wicked. And of course, we've got two bases for some reason on this campaign. I'm not sure if this is the way to do it, but this is the way I'm doing it anyway. So, uh, it seems to be going okay. We attacked this guy last episode and he absolutely kind of pushed me back so far. He pushed me, um, he wiped out my top army and then like, would have wiped out my bottom army, but I ran off. <laughs> but we did take out a tower and then I crushed it, so... Um, that was a little test, a little test of the waters, so to speak. And I had a good idea, actually, of um, shipping some troops down to this bottom base because I've destroyed all of my towers on this top base. Um, so there's no need for him to invade me. But on this bottom base, I've got one tower somewhere. I don't even know where it is. Oh, there's a couple here. How many do I have in total? Two. So these are my only two towers. So if he if he like rushes down to this bottom base and takes out these two towers, I'm pretty much screwed. So yeah, I had the idea. I'll send a few ships up. Might as well send them all up. Yeah. And oops. And yeah, we'll um we'll send some troops to meet them. Okay, here we go. Send them down here. So yeah, I think we're about ready. All we need to do really is build up a massive army. <laughs> because everything else is almost in place or is already in place. Like we've got this whole supply of food to the mines, to the smiths, to uh, eventually turning them into troops. I wonder how many people I have. I've got quite a few just settlers standing around doing nothing. Um, they desperately don't want to run out of residences uh, or of people coming out of them. So yeah, we'll build one more because uh, before you know it, this complete supply of people is going to be depleted and I'll have a, a shortage of people. So hopefully by the time this is built, it's in perfect time. Um, okay, let's get some of these troops into these ships. Looks like I only needed two, maybe three, maybe two. We'll get them a little bit closer. Um, and again, possibly here, we've only got one here, so we'll build an extra one. Now this uh, this top base doesn't seem to be going as fast, but it's not going too bad actually. Looking at these, iron smelters are built. Look, It looks like they've just been built. Um, and there's a weaponsmith. Oh, there's a couple of weaponsmiths here. Am I building any at the time being? I'm building one somewhere. Was that down here? Yeah. Let's build one more up here. Looks like I've got two up here. Let's squeeze one in there. Do I have one around here? No. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking good. Look at that massive army. That will probably get crushed instantly, so let's keep building it up. Okay. What's going on here? Boats are a little bit fiddly in this game. It's a little bit of a pain. We've got to get these two out of the way as well. Hmm. 
keep going, keep going. <laughs> I think they can carry eight, so we've got one, two, three, four, five in that one. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Maybe they can only carry five. Never mind, we'll see. Oh no, there's loads, there's loads, there's all eight of them there. Okay. So we should be able to defend these two uh, little guard towers really well. Might be a cool idea to just stick a massive castle somewhere. Like proper out of the way, maybe. Who knows? Or just like right up in the grill. Just stick a massive castle like right there. So there's no way they're attacking you. Or taking you over at least. They can try to attack you. Uh, maybe not. Let's not do that. Though, let's... I might build a couple of large towers instead. Hmm. But these all kind of... You kind of want them fairly close to each other so they can defend each other quite well. I think that that's what this guy's done up here. See these two towers he's got? They kind of like... If you swarm in there with a mad army, they're just going to get picked off by um, all three of these bowmen. There's three in each tower, so... All six of them. Let's see what this says. I need a pickaxe on the top base. Two pickaxes and a hammer. Okay. Two pickaxes and a hammer for this top base. Two pickaxes. Is there anything being built here? Grain farms. Looks like we've already got some for that. Storage. Now, I've got a nice amount of gold there, actually. Let's have a look how much gold I've got. 30. Not bad, I'm not sure if that's uh, that's ideal. Now I think gold, um, I mean fish, is preferred by um, gold miners. So let's have a look what my distribution is, see if I can find it. Gold and coal. See, I've got so many coal places here. Let's see how these fishermen are doing. They don't look like they're doing very well, actually. That kind of sucks. I'm not sure if it's because these uh, these working areas are overlapping, but I didn't really know. I'm not sure if that's a mechanic in the game or not. Who knows? I didn't think it mattered. We'll keep an eye on that. We definitely need some more fish. How many do I have? 15. Hmm. See, these, find these findings are 80%, but it's not churning out gold. See, there's no ore in the smelter. Um, he's not doing that because I don't have any fish for him. Hammer, okay. Just spamming spacebar now. Look at that. <laughs> Just gets rid of all the messages. <laughs> cool. So we'll be able to do that again in a little bit. Yeah, this army's building up okay. It's not massive. Um... What we've got here? Oh, we've got these here as well. F forgot about these. Unload both of these and send them down to join the, the large army. We've got a few more come out actually, so we'll send these down as well. And I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. Like, should I just swarm him or. Like, last time I did that thing where. I attacked from the bottom and then I attacked from the side at the same time because if we could join up this area so it's all my base then it will become one big base instead of two smaller bases which I think may be better like say up here if I desperately needed stone say I ran out of stone up here but I had loads down here that would help though I could if I wanted actually build a hmm, where are we I'm sure I just saw it. There we go. A shipyard. We could build a shipyard on both sides. It's got to be close to the water, actually. Um, maybe not there, but... Yeah, here. And you could transfer goods between the two, but... I don't necessarily have to do that, because these bases are... Almost identical. <laughs> so... Yeah, we don't have to worry about that. Let's see how we're doing for from the ground up with this. We've got these green farms. How are we doing for stone to start with? 
not so bad, not so bad. Was there a stone mine up here? Oh, here we go. That should help, definitely. Let's build a pickaxe or two just to help with that situation up there. Um, so we're doing okay for stone and that, and definitely wood is fine. Yeah, wood's fine. I'm completely maxed out here at the sawmill, and then not quite again at the woodcutter's huts. But um, let's go and find. There's a large amount of trees here as well. I'm happy with that. We've got a few things almost being built here. Look at this one. No materials needed. I'll put that on high priority so it gets done quicker. Um, yeah, where were we? Green. That's the uh, cornerstone of any army. Lots of green. I've got one here that I can see. Two, three. These are almost built. Four. What's this one? Five. Okay, so... <laughs> I've got loads, I've got loads of um, green farms just about to be built, which is perfect. And then from then on, we'll be going to pig farms. Do I only have one pig farm? I've got another one up here. And they desperately need the green, look at that. That one's not so bad. It, they've got enough water, because I've got two bloody waterworks right next to this river, so that's perfect. Um, so soon enough, once these green farms have been built, that should help. Um, I might do something a little bit sneaky and uh, build a few more hammers. And a couple of spades there, so uh, we should get people being builders. I don't think I've built hammers or spades in a long time. Let's put a high priority on this large residence, because these... <laughs> The amount of people here is dwindling a little bit. How are we doing here? Yeah, let's put a high priority on that as well. Another message. Need a hammer for the bottom building. Okay. Well, I've already got four being built. We'll do one more. And this is the priority in which they get built. So um, we'll definitely build these hammers first. It's a little bit of a pain when you've got a fish... Oops. Um, a little bit of a pain when you've got a fisherman's hut that's ready to go but just needs a rod but you've got like a list of all things that need to be built first so yeah that's the priority list there um, I'm not sure if these things have effects I think this is just like constantly churn out these tools here but we don't want them to do that so let's turn that off normal production okay yeah, it's going well. How many people do we have here? Over a hundred straight away because you you can only select one hundred at a time. I think. Yeah, look at that. It's not selecting these bottom ones. So that's one over a hundred there. Let's have a look. Yeah, and then how many here? Hmm. It's hard to tell. It was over 100 at least, that's cool. 110 maybe, 115. Not so bad. Let's load these people up as well. If there's any space left. Oops, that was my phone. Put it on silent. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's unload these transport ships here. I think they must be able to carry eight, but I've actually carried um, seven in one of them. Never mind. Oh, look at this as well around this barracks. They're all being pushed about by the the day-to-day -day activities. You see, as as people just walk by, they just nudge them out of the way, and they're all being spread out. That's pretty cool. I like it. I l I love it when you you've built like you're at this stage in settlers, and everyone's doing something, especially in like the city centre, so to speak. Everyone's doing something, everyone's walking about. You see it on the mountains as well, maybe not so much here, but like around here, everyone's got something to do. They're like little ants, almost. It's cool, I, I like it. Yeah, and you can only get to this point when you've got like a massive economy going and it's, it's, uh, it's all moving, it's all happening. And you know you're doing quite well, though you never know how well the, uh, the other guy's doing as well. So let's merge up this massive army here 
How are these towers doing? Where did I build it? Hmm. Did I even bother building it? Yeah, where where did I put it? Oh, there it is. I just saw it. Oh, no. <laughs> bloody hell, it's right in plain sight. Oh, my God. It's right there. Okay, let's put that on a high priority. How's this? Um, uh, yeah, this is going great. We've already got the pickaxe for it. Okay, and she's just claiming that massive, that's a nice juicy lump of rock there for us to claim. Perfect. How are we doing here? Nearly, I mean there's not much left here. I don't know how much stone is in one of these. I probably knew at one point, but I can't remember. We'll send this woman down here as well. Oh, look at this. Almost built almost built here um, oh look at that, you know what, I do need a little bit more stone I'd, I'd be happy if I had a little bit there's a nice amount here which is a bit of a pain but I think that's the closest one or I could, or I could attack this guy um, you know what, I'll do it the peaceful way for now um, where am I thinking, once this large residence has been built which is almost about to happen almost about to happen <laughs> um, we'll make some of them into pioneers and just capture this land in one big go that'll be um, that'll be pretty cool and then we'll build depending on how much stone there is down here we'll build either one or two stone cutters am I looking? there we go um, oh wow look at this on the map here look how massive this is that's this guy's land as well you can change some of the map options here um, I'm sure there's a way you can change people is that you can get rid of armies why would you not want to show people at all like you'd never know if he was being attacked well you would know eventually but you wouldn't have like an early warning system kind of thing you can also turn on regular people as well that's cool but it just looks like you've got massive armies so I like to just do it so you can just see armies that's cool you can turn off buildings as well if you didn't care about buildings, that would be good to know. But I kind of do, so I'll leave them on. Huge army here. 150 maybe? Look at that, look at the amount of people I can't select there. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's loads, that's loads. I probably went, went over a little bit there. Yeah. 60, maybe closer to, what, 160, 170? with these ones coming in as well awesome so what at what point do I attack this guy at what point we've got a f uh, we've got a bit of time left yet so let's um let's focus on this look at this that's incredible the amount of stuff being built here that's awesome let's um definitely take advantage of this stone here there's a little bit more down there Oh wow, and there's loads here as well, we're definitely taking advantage of that. Thank you very much, we'll put at least one, maybe both of them on a high priority there. Maybe care about this one a little bit less. Actually, let's get rid of this one completely. <laughs> Soon as I've spotted this, look at that, that's perfect. We've got this green farm kind of out of the way, both of these here. A little bit out of the way. Um... Never mind. Where would they have to take it? They'd have to take it first to the green mill. That's not so bad. That's not so bad to, to get there. Do I only have one green mill? How's it doing? The green mill is a boss, by the way. If you didn't already know this, the green mill can handle so much green and then turn it out into flour almost instantly. It's sick. Like, I've only got one here, I think. Let's have a look. I've got two, which is one in each base. And then look at the amount of grain farms I've got. Eleven. Two more come in. Five bakeries. That's wicked. They just can't get the flour fast enough. So it's a good thing I've got all these things being built. What have we got here? Okay. Um, I'll move this. Somewhere like that. And then give this the perfect one. There we go. Um, now did I build? Yeah, I did. A large temple. Because I think they might have some kind of growing... Ah, it only grows forests. I know one of the races, the, uh, the priest, 
I think it might be the Romans actually. They can like cast a spell on the farmland, or, like on the grain, and it just starts growing instantly. It's wicked. Um, but we don't have that. We do have one priest. We've got one priest. Let's see what they can do. Gold to stone. Reveal map. Reveal map. That's definitely a good one. Definitely. Let's do that right now, actually. Let's reveal the map. Look at this. The all-seeing guy. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's built this tower without me noticing. Look at this. Okay, so he's got these areas well defended. Look at that. Really well defended along his side here. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Now this all goes back to grey, but we can see, you know, we can remember what buildings we've seen, which is wicked. So we can keep looking. That spell was really worth it. Where is she? Was it? Was it around here? Oh, there it was. I can almost do it again, actually, but I don't think I'll need to. Uh, yeah, definitely worth it. Look at all this. So we can see if we was attacking him. He's taking out this guard tower. You know, let's uh, let's just slap this guy down. Um, yeah, he's got these two towers here, and a little guard tower here. Uh, unfortunately, we can't see how well defended they are at this point, like where it's just greyed out like this. But I can remember these. There was some around here that was really well defended, bigger armies than what I have here, by far. Um, there's no army bigger than this one, but you know we had lots of small ones. So let's see. Let's see how we do. Did I build that tower? I did. We'll stock that up as well. Three bowmen and three swordsmen as well. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. I think if I alt click a race, um, a class, so I alt click the swordsman. There we go. We can pull them back a little bit. Alt click the bowmen or the bow women. And I can select a hundred of them at once, that's cool. Okay. So we'll get the uh, we'll get all the soldiers attacking this tower. Or oh, maybe not all of them. We'll go for the kill as well. Let's do it. Operation Human Shield with these um <laughs> these bow women here. Okay, we don't need that many as well. Send all of these in. Now am I going to do anything with this? It's such a small army, I'm not going to bother. Let's just do this. Okay, get in there, get in. Everyone get in. Not the swordsman. Swordsman can get back. Get back, get back, get back. Okay, okay, there we go. Oh, dominating. He's trying to get his tower back, but we don't care about that. We're going for the big ones here. They just want to do their own thing as well. I've got to click like a madman. Take out these mad ones. Okay, let's do this. Let's send these in as well. That's got his attention. Oh, yeah, look at that. How am I doing for swordsman? 41. 39. We've got to get these in as well. Here we go. Get the swordsman back. We've only got 29 now. In, that, in those short seconds, I've lost 10. How are you guys doing? Cavalry is always late. <laughs> Send these back. We just want bow on bow combat for now, I think. Definitely. I could have brought my priest as well and we could have used uh banished banish bowmen, is it? Cursed arrow, no. Banish bowmen probably again is a different one. Oh and I've got two. Three soldiers out of that. Three uh swordsmen. I'm gonna crush this. We don't really want that guard tower anyway. Send her in. She's almost dead. Oh, it's the original spearwoman. No, we'll send her. If 
a nice life of retirement down here. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Dominated them. I'm running dangerously low on uh, swords women, though. Look at that. I've completely ran out. They've just been picked off individually. Okay, here's the cavalry. This is it. We've got cavalry coming in from both sides now. Well, not literally. Not literally cavalry. You know, come and save the day. Ah, oh, they're being picked off. The human shields. No, not down. No, there. Come back down here. Bloody hell. Come on. We've got 12. <laughs> 12 swordsmen. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, not you two. Oh. oh, this is getting loud. I'm going to have to turn this down a little bit. Okay, there we go. Just so loud, the clash of steel there. Oh, we fought them off. How many swordsmen do we have left? 20. Yes, that's perfect. 20. And look at this. The reinforcements are here again. A few more human shield there. Um, bow women there. I'd safely say these towers are ours now, and this one. We're going to link up the bases here. Um, oh, look at that. The large residence has been built. There we go. Let's get 30. Link up these bases here. You can see on the map, there's just this tiny little bit here where they're not linked up. Oh, just this one now. We've taken out all the swordsmen, so there's nothing they can do. They're going to die because the bowmen... Um, a long range and they can't attack the swordsmen that are fighting them. So it's inevitable. Nice one. Nice one. Okay, let's send these in as well. Let's send a few dribs and drabs of shitty troops in. Oh, we've claimed it. We've claimed this little part of this peninsula. Nice one. Nice one. Um, shall we stock it up? Yeah. Archers and swordsmen, swordsmen, <laughs> swordswomen, swordsmen, whatever. Bloody hell! I should probably make my mind up what I'm saying. <laughs> let's do this. Let's carry on. Um, what else have we got here? Let's have a look at this guy's base actually before we. Yeah, let's take this tower and at the same time look at this guy's base. Hmm. He's got production quite far back. He's got a nasty big base actually. Let's have a look on here. Yeah, that's big. It's a big place. Um, there we go. So we're going to take this tower here and it might, I was going to say it might cut off this connection here, but they've got one up here so it doesn't really matter. Well, okay, okay. Um, so it looks like he's got a, a fair amount of food. Oops, must have taken it there. It lagged a little bit. It looks like he's got a fair amount of food production going on on this little side here. Now, if I could take this, that would knock him out quite well, I think. Has he got any food production going on here? No. Uh, oh, he's got a little bit. He's got a little bit going on. Not much, though. Not much at all, the poor guy. So let's just knock... Let's just like you know tear through here, take this as well. That's all we need to do, and then he's not going to be able to get any more troops. Easy enough, I think. Easy enough. That would be nice to draw it to a close after uh, so long of waiting. Uh, <laughs> but we may have to do that next episode. We may have to wipe this guy out next episode um, because it's almost half an hour. I just noticed. I do apologise about that guys, but you know, look at this, we took this guy out, we've got this priest up here now, to mess with this guy again, and this magic eye is back, this reveal map, that's perfect, uh, so I think we're doing really well, we're going to crush a few towers here I think, because we don't really need these, he's probably going to take them back if he pushed hard enough. Okay, well not these ones. These are like fortresses and has lost them. The poor guy. So, I hope you enjoyed that guys. Um, 
There we go, 30 minute mark. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Tune in next time for another episode of Settlers Saturday. Yeah.